Welcome to Electro Online. In this video, we're going to actually work out the delta to y conversion. We're, we have a bridge circuit here. We're going to convert that into a format that we can solve for the equivalent resistance. Without doing the delta to y conversion, it would be very difficult to do so. What we're going to do here, instead of doing the bottom half, we're going to do the top half conversion. It doesn't matter which half you take, so you can see that it can work both ways. But we're going to take the top delta and convert it into a Y format. So this will then look as follows. You go from each corner, and you draw a resistor to the central point like that. And so these are the three resistors. If we call these nodes, let's call these nodes node A, node B, and node C, so that we can call these resistors, resistor A, resistor B, and resistor C. Again, it's important to realize that resistor A is between R1 and R2, resistor B is between R1 and R3, resistor C is between R2 and R3. Just visually check on that and say, okay, now I know how to write the conversion equations. I can now write that R sub A is equal to the product of the two resistors it's in between, that would be R1 and R2 divided by the sum, R1 plus R2 plus R3, I mean the sum of all three resistors. So in this case, that would be equal to R1 is 6 ohms, R2 is 10 ohms, and here we have uh, 6 plus 10 plus R3, which is 4. That's equal to 60 divided by 20, which is equal to 3 ohms. So the equivalent resistance for RA, that's 3 ohms. And I shouldn't say equivalent resistance because we're actually converting into a different format of the circuit, which will give us an equivalent resistance overall, but there's no equivalence between RA and any one of the three resistors in the delta. So we're just ending up in equivalent total circuit. We don't have an equivalence between RA and any of the other three resistors. R sub B is equal to, it's between R1 and R3, so it's R1 times R3 divided by the sum of the three resistors in the delta, R2 plus R3. So in this case, R1 is 6, R3 is 4, and the sum, of course, now is 6 plus 10 plus 4, which is 24 divided by 20, which is equal to 1.2 ohms. And finally, the third resistor, R sub 3, is equal to R sub, R sub C is between R2 and R3, so it's the product of those two vectors, uh, not vectors, but resistors, R2 times R3 divided by R1 plus R2 plus R3. R2 is equal to 10. R3 is equal to 4. And the sum, 6 plus 10 plus 4. This is 40 divided by 20, or 2 ohms. So now we have the value of the three resistors in the Y conversion. And let's redraw the circuit. This whole circuit can now be redrawn as follows. And then the other two resistors that are still there that have not been changed. This is R sub A, which is 3 ohms. This is R sub B, which is 1.2 ohms. This is R sub C, which is 2 ohms. R4 is still 4 ohms, and R5 is still 6 ohms. Notice that I did not put any of the ohm values down or any of the R's. This is simply R3. I might as well do that, right? So this is R sub A. This is R sub B. This is R sub C. This is R sub 4, and this is R sub 5. Now, this is a circuit that is easily solved with traditional methods. Notice that RB and R4 are in series. RC and R5 are in series because they each, each of those two pairs, share a single node that's not shared by any other resistor. So this cannot be written as the following circuit. Combine those two, combine those two. This, this is still your 3 ohm resistor. But this will be the sum of 1.2 plus 4, since in, they're in series, we simply add the two resistors together. That's 5.2 ohms for that resistor, and 2 plus 6, which is 8 ohms for that resistor. Now we can go ahead and combine those two resistors. They are in parallel. Notice they share a node at the top and a node at the bottom. At each end of them, 
they are connected together on a single node, so we know that those are in parallel. That means the equivalent resistance of those two is equal to the product, 5.2 times 8, divided by the sum, 5.2 plus 8. And with a calculator, let's find out what those are equal to. 5.2 times 8 divided by 13.2 equals 3.15. That's an equivalent resistance of 3.15 ohms. So this circuit can now be redrawn as follows. We have a 3 ohm resistor there, and this plus this combined adds up to 3.15 ohm resistor. Those two resistors are in parallel, uh, not in parallel, they're in series. They share a common node between them that's not shared with any other resistors. Therefore, we can simply add them. This then can be written as a single resistor of 6.15 ohms. And that is the R equivalent of the entire circuit, a single resistor equal to 6.15 ohms. Whatever this circuit is connected to, if this is now connected to a voltage source, whatever the voltage source may be, the current in the entire circuit, I total, will simply be the voltage of that voltage source divided by R equivalent. And that's how we find the circuit through one of those bridge networks using the delta to Y conversion. And that's how it's done.